Hey y'all and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing okay today. My name is Alexis and I welcome you guys for another video. Today's video is going to be highly requested. I'm doing a makeup tutorial as you know from the thumbnail, okay? And this is the look that I came up with. So if you're interested in seeing how I came up with that, go ahead and stay tuned, okay? In the meantime, please make sure that you like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit your bell so you don't miss anything that I put out, okay? So like I said, I hope you guys like this. This is part of a new series I'm starting to try to do. I'm going to try to do this for you guys. I'm going to try to have what we call Makeup Mondays. And so the Makeup Mondays, I'm going to try to make sure that I do a tutorial makeup every Monday. So that way I can make sure that I am getting getting you guys makeup videos as well as my wigs and stuff, okay? And I've got an inspiration video coming up soon too. But I have so many wigs you, you guys to review and just there's it's just a lot okay but i wanted to go ahead and you know let you guys know that this is going to be a new thing so i'm going to try now my pain dictates how i roll out some days so if it's on a monday or a sunday and i want to film and i'm not feeling the best then i may not get it there but if i am feeling good you guys can count on me doing a makeup tutorial every monday okay all right y'all so that's it so you guys stay tuned and watch how i came up with this look Okay, y'all, so here we are. Thank you so much for joining me today for this uh, makeup tutorial. It is highly requested, and as I told you guys in the beginning, I am going to be rolling out what I'm calling the Makeup Mondays on my channel, okay? So that I can make sure that I give you guys a good balance of makeup tutorials, as well as my wigs and hair, as well as inspiration, okay? So we're already into it. Actually, I apologize to you guys. I meant to record the eyebrow part as well as the part with me priming my eyes before placing my shadows down but I thought I was recording and realized that I was not recording and by then of course it was too late I had already begun and I didn't want to start over because I'm trying to get ready for a makeup a uh, couple of uh, wig reviews when I'm doing this makeup here okay so I am using the Amreezy palette from ABH that's a, a very uh, nice palette that has 16 shadows in it. I will be showing you guys the palette itself at the end. But I was just now packing on the color 1988 from the palette in my crease. It's like a brownish color. Um, and I am going to be showing you some of the colors as I do them, as I place them. As we go along in the video, you'll see. So right here, I'm showing you all. That's called New Yorker and it's spelled W-A-W, I mean Y-A-W-K-E-R. I'm using that to blend out the color 1988. I'm using 1988, of course, as my crease color, and I'm using this to blend it out with, okay? And I packed on the color with a dense packing brush that was round, and I'm also doing the blending out with a um, blending brush, but it's a little bit um, fluffier, so that's going to help to... Um, blend out those colors seamlessly. I found this palette to be um, a very nice palette. I find the colors to be extremely easy to blend and the pigmentation is awesome. So right there I'm just kind of checking to see what I got going on there and we're just going to keep going. So you guys will, I'm going to have parts where I'm going to speed up because I'm realizing that I'm out of frame or that I kind of got caught up in looking into my uh, magnifying mirror which is the one I'm looking in right now. I actually had problems and I broke one of my mirrors and I'm having to replace it because I realized that I need it in order to do a straight look on in front <laughs> doing these makeup tutorials. I realized I need uh, my magnifying mirror with these. Now some of the medications that I take have a have a side effect of blurry vision and um, I have been experiencing quite a bit of that here lately. So anyway um we're just going to be going along. Like I said, you'll see me drinking and you'll see me vaping and whatever else you may see. But like I said, I am going to be speeding up parts of this. So you guys just sit back and watch and we'll get to the end for the completed look. And I'll be checking in again, okay? Thank you. Here, y'all, I'm just showing you guys that I'm actually going to go into the crease also with the color BK. That is just going to give me a little bit more dimension and kind of darken up that crease area. So that creates that darkness on the ends. Now, you guys, I consider this to be a no makeup, makeup look kind of sort of. It's a very simple look, like I said, using one, two, maybe three colors. 
And I'm doing this because, like I said, I didn't want to waste a whole lot of time. I needed something simple and quick because I'm going to be recording two other videos after this. And so um, with these type of looks, it's not very complicated. I'm not doing any cut crease or anything like that. I will do some of those type videos coming up. So don't fret. And I'm kind of using some neutral colors because of the wigs that I'm going to be reviewing. Okay. So you guys just sit tight and stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so here I'm showing you guys that I'm going to be um, putting on my lit color and I'm using a uh, flat packing brush to do that with. I'm going to be going in with the color, um, what was that color, Georgina as well as Barb in the palette. I'm going to be putting those both those colors on my lid. Um, of course, because I have hooded eyes, I always try to put a frosted or something uh, shimmery on my lid. So that it will bring that forward because I want that to pop forward and I want the crease and stuff to pop back. The key to doing looks with hooded eyes is to make sure that you have, you want to recede the things that you don't want people to notice and you want the things that you want people to notice to pop out. So I want that color to be shown on my lid and I'm going to be placing it on my lid as well as above the lid uh, some too. Because if I only placed it on the mobile lid and that part that I'm putting it on, that's called your mobile lid, the part that moves. If I only placed it on there, then you wouldn't be able to see it once I open my eyes because I do have hooded eyes. But we've got all kind of tip, tip, tips and, and tricks and stuff that we can do um, to, uh, you know, help us out with that. So that's what I'm doing. I'm also blending out the color that I placed there in the crease as well. So I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know. All right. So stay tuned. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. We're searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. Okay, my queens, right here, I'm just kind of showing you all that I'm um, blending all this out. I've had to do quite a bit of blending, which is normal when you're putting on makeup. Blending is the thing that takes the most time, but it is necessary in order for your shadows to come out like you want them to. So right here, I'm going to be adding a color to my brow bone, and it's going to be coming from the Warriors Play, um, palette by Juvia's Place. Um, I can't remember, is it the Warrior 2? I want to say it's the Warrior 2 or maybe the Warrior 3 that I'm going to be using to place that color on. I'm going to show it to you guys in just a minute. And um, right here, of course, I'm out of frame again, looking in that magnifying mirror over there. Okay, so this is the palette. So I'm showing you guys I'm using that light color there. And it is the Warrior 2 by Juvia's Place. You guys have seen me do Juvia's Place. I use Juvia's Place shadows on my channel before. Juvia's Place has some really good um, pigment, pigmented palettes, y'all. Excuse me, I can't talk some days. <laughs> but their palettes are uh, really good pigmentation and you get good size um, makeup trays in the palette. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. Okay, ladies, so here I am uh, lining my eyes. I'm using the Inglot Liquid Liner in number 25 to line my top lids. I'm going to also be using the Inglot in my um, lower lash line, but that's going to be a pencil. This is the liquid. I find this to be very good and helpful for me to, um, with my hooded eyes, to make a nice wing. Um, sometimes my wings don't come out like I want them to you guys they will come out a little too thick or whatever but like I always say to you guys 
it's just makeup and a lot of times I'm practicing as well it doesn't always come out right we don't always get it right sometimes you have a look that's perfect and you say wow I did a great job on that and sometimes you look and say eh, I could have did that better but nonetheless it's all fun and it's all makeup okay so I'm showing you guys I'm lining my eyes here I'll probably be showing you that uh tube in just a minute but it's at it's available at inglot.com but it is extremely black that's what I love about inglot's liners they are extremely black so they will give you color that will show through even if you have dark colors on your outer uh, V of your eye on the outer corner okay I also want to tell you all that color that I placed on my lid I also brought that down to the inner corner of my bottom lash line I put some there and you know to use as my inner corner highlight as well as to come down you know and bring some uh, cohesiveness to the bottom lash line okay so I just want to let you guys know that so we're just going to keep trucking along. Okay, y'all. So right here, I have um, come back and I've already placed my foundation on. I needed to go ahead and do that to kind of speed things up. The foundation that I used is the um, Derma Blend in the color Cinnamon. I love the coverage. It is a full coverage um, foundation that I absolutely love. And I was also showing you guys there my lashes. Now I picked up these lashes from Amazon. I think it was like maybe $12.99 or $14.99 for three pairs of lashes. These lashes are very, very pretty. Um, and I used the ones in the middle, which is E80. And y'all like, these lashes are very well made they felt very comfortable on and they didn't feel like they didn't bother me a lot of times people see us with these long eyelashes on these 25 millimeters and they wonder how we can wear them but if you're used to wearing lashes anyway and you wear makeup it's no problem there's a tool there that i was showing you guys that i'm using to place um to put my lashes on with the tweezers that came in the box are very nicely made tweezers but i don't really use tweezers to put on my um my lashes I use that tool that I just showed you guys if you have any questions about that then you can ask me about it in the comment box I picked that one up from Ulta but it is carried those tools are carried at a lot of different places so you'll be able to find one but uh, that's what I'm going to be doing here just placing my lashes on so you guys just sit tight we're getting to the end Then fly to home But if you wanna travel Then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us If I never know Yeah, if you're gonna leave I'ma let you go my queen so here I've placed my lashes on I showed you guys the mascara that I used it's a mascara from Stila um, I can't remember the exact name of it right now but I will have all that information in the box below okay it's a really good mascara I like it I really like to use it on my bottom lashes too so you'll see me doing that soon I'm also going to be showing you guys right here that I use that derma blend 
um, foundation that I told you guys about, and that is in the color cinnamon, as I said. And um, this uh, foundation just can't be beat. I also find that even though you're, we're not supposed to do this, so I'm not condoning this, but sometimes you'll fall asleep in your makeup or whatever the case may be. But when I wake up, this makeup is good. All I need is a blotting tissue, and I'm good. Okay, with this uh, with this makeup, so. I'm just going to be uh, kind of going through here now doing my blush. I'm also going to be showing you guys right here where I'm going to be using a, uh, what you call that brush? Gosh, y'all, my mind draws a blank. That's called a smudging brush. <laughs> and um, I use that on the bottom lash line to put the colors on the bottom that are the same ones at the top. So that's what this is being used for. So that's what I'm doing here. Of course, I'm going to do the same thing to both eyes. And then I'll be going in with my mascara on the bottom. And uh, I'm going to be using the same mascara for the bottom lashes. And then I'm going to be going in with my blush, which is from Juvia's Place. And I'm going to be using that. All right. Myself, so I could feel something else. Yeah, I guess I had my bad days But it doesn't mean I lost my Darling, where were you When my heart was on the ground I thought Okay, y'all, so we're getting down to it. We're getting down to the end of the video. I'm showing you right here that I'm using this brush here. Um, and I'm going to be using that to put on a bronzer. I'm showing you this CoverGirl bronzer, but they no longer make this. And um, But I do have another one that I'm going to use. I'm actually right here. I'm actually, uh, somebody's trying to get in contact with me. But I am going to be using the bronzer from Becca. This is the one that I decided to use. And it is in the color Maui Night. And I'm just going to kind of be using one of my brushes, which is a bronzing brush from the Jaclyn Hill set to put that on with. And just to kind of give a little, little toastiness in that area, kind of bring some dimension to my face. I didn't want to do a full, you know, contour, you know, with the hard lines and everything this time around. I just kind of want to do something soft. And like I said, a no makeup look, look. Okay, and this is perfect example of that where you have makeup on. Now you may go for a, a less dramatic lash if you're trying to kind of just have a natural look. It's up to you, but I don't care with me. I wear big lashes, thin lashes, whatever. I want to do at any point in time. It really doesn't matter to me. I'm just kind of a girly girl and a glammy girl. Love makeup, love all things beauty. Okay, so that's what we're doing here. So like I said, we're getting down to the end. So you guys just, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and hanging in there with me. If you've made it to this part, that means you have patience <laughs> and that means you actually want to see the completed look. So we're almost there. I prove that you would stick around. I just so I wanted to come back and show you guys the completed look so this is the completed look I hope you guys like it okay so I already showed you guys what products I use of course I did my eyebrows this time which is the first I usually don't do my eyebrows on camera but I wanted to do a full complete beat face for you guys as a makeup tutorial as I told you all I am going to start doing makeup Monday so hopefully I can be I'll be able to get these out to you guys more often because I'm committing myself to making sure that I do that okay so you guys can see because I get a lot of requests for makeup tutorials so I have no problem doing those okay and so like I said this is the finished look um, a couple of things I want to mention this palette by Anna Anastasia Beverly Hills ABH Amrezy. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, this pa uh, packaging is bomb. It's like a silver with glitter, but the glitter doesn't come off or anything. And then, of course, you have the pack of uh, the uh, palette. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. I hope the lighting is picking up how pretty these shadows are. 
okay and this palette has 16 shadows normally these palettes by ABH has 14 so you actually get two extra shadows with this and I purchased this from Sephora okay and that's of course it's just the box and packaging that it came in this palette is very good it has really good pigmentation just like uh, ABH is famous for and this has really good pigmentation and um, it also um, was blendable it blended very well and everything so I had no issues with that and the next thing I want to say is I showed you guys what I put on my lips this is a Mac stick is holly patent lip but this one was called Berry Black Friday so they put this out maybe some years ago in a, in a Black Friday sale so I got I actually picked up two of them because I enjoyed the shine of it but they do have if I'm not mistaken they have other patent pencils like this or lipsticks like this and if you want to try one, I'm just letting you guys know it's very creamy. They feel really good and they have a great sheen to them. I hope the sheen is picking up on camera, okay? So, um, and also the foundation that I use, that Dermablend foundation, and it's in the color uh, Cinnamon. Y'all, that foundation is the bomb. It's a full coverage concealer, but it still has you looking with a natural look. Like you can say, I don't look powdered or too beat. I didn't want to do like a full, you know, under eye highlighter and all that today. And I pretty much, I don't really do that unless I just really am feeling like going through all of that. Because it takes a lot to beat your face completely, of course. But a lot of times I just feel like, you know, this is enough. Just foundation and, and some blush and stuff on my cheeks and some, uh, some, uh, some uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, but it's, I, that's what I did here when I used that. So y'all, um, that's pretty much it. So I wanted to come on and give you guys a quick tutorial because I am getting ready to do a wig review and I wanted to make sure. And if you guys are interested in this wig that I have on, I did the review on this a couple of days ago. So you can go and check that out and find out all the details about this pretty mama right here. Okay. I also did it in another color and this is Julianne. So go get all the specs and find out everything you want to know about this. But this wig is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Okay. So you guys, that's it. So I invite you all to please like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Okay. Because we're going to kick it up a notch on here um, going forward. All right. So you guys, as always saying, parting, I am my sister's keeper and always remember you all that it's nice to be beautiful. Yeah. It feels pretty good. It's nice to be beautiful, but it's more beautiful to be nice. Okay. Remember to sprinkle sunshine wherever you go. All right. Have a good one. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.